This is He Knows Everything, bringing you that heat near far. We keeping a foot on the wood, mm, the geeks. We keeping a foot on the wood, mm, the geeks. See, when you got Go guys ahead, like Mike Tyson knows. coming uh. out with the coony and buffoonery. Let me say it again, the coonery and the buffoonery. It's so that they can propagate their fake champion. Terrence Bo Crawford is a fake champion. Terrence Bo Crawford is not really undisputed at 147. As we saw, Deontay Wilder alluded to it. EJ was weight drained. EJ was dehydrated. EJ was zombified. EJ didn't even look like himself. Terrence Bo Crawford took advantage. When you take advantage of someone, did you actually beat them? It's a things that make you say, hmm. It's a things that make you say, hmm. When you have loaded and padded gloves, did you actually beat someone? It's a things that make you say, hmm. It's a things that make you say, hmm. When you are on undetectable PEDs, did you actually beat someone? It's a things that make you say, hmm. It's a things that make you say, hmm. When you eating snacks, let me say it again. When you eating snacks, did you actually beat someone? It's a things that make you say, hmm. It's the things that make you say, hmm. So, of course, Mike Tyson is going to come out because EJ checked him. He didn't like the fact that EJ checked his rabbit ass. So, now he wants to come out and say, someone seems butthurt. Girl, the truth Spence ain't butthurt. Girl, the truth Spence playing along with the bullshit and the fuck shit. Because he understands business, supply and demand. He understands money has to be made. He's going to make the biggest money of his life. Fuck it. I'm going to get his ass in the rematch. This is not personal for He Knows Everything. When people say, well, it, 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 are you trying to say Al Heyman and PBC is in on? Fuck yeah, they are. Because I understand business. See, people don't understand business. People's feelings are so attached. People are so interwoven and ingrained in ethics, morality, and values. And then basically the fact that they have to believe that if Earl the Truth Spence is not making no excuse, I'm not going to make no excuse. You got to look at this shit bigger than what it is. This is an illusion. This is the matrix. They're trying to put you in an infinite sukuyumi, meaning i.e. if you've ever watched Naruto, they're trying to put you in a visual trance. They're making you believe that this is Transformers more than meets the eyes. This shit ain't more than meets the eyes. People's spirit keeps waking up more and more. That's why they want he knows everything that's bringing you that what? That heat and that fire. And keeping the foot on the what? On the geeks. And keeping the foot on the what? On the geeks. And like the Tibetan man shift that I am, I'm applying what? Unlimited pressure. Because pressure does what? He bursts pipes. They want someone Go ahead, to burst the knows. pipes and uh. telling you the truth. The cold hearted, the unadulterated, and the cutthroat truth telling fashion variation. And what is that? When you get the coonery and the buffoonery of a Mike Tyson telling you someone is but hurt. Earl the Chew Spence ain't but hurt. Earl the Chew Spence is going along with the WWE script. The man just walked out with $60 million. He's due to make $120 million in the rematch. He's due to make damn near almost $200 million in the third fight. Think about these monies. Think about this kind of money that's going to be generational wealth for his family. These boxers are here for a prize. The prize is they're here to make money before anything else. You think they go into the ring, abuse themselves, break themselves down, get their bodily harm so that they can just do it for fucking belts? No, it's bigger than that. They're trying to make that bread. And when the bread is presented before you that you're making the biggest bread of your life, but guess what, EJ? You're going to have to lose this battle before you win the war. Yes, I said it. And I don't care that I said it because I'm a businessman. I understand how business works. With business, it's not about feelings. This is the problem with people. People put their personal feelings and they interwoven with business. Business has no feelings in it. Business can be very cold. It can be very cold hearted. It can be very unadulterated. It can be very cutthroat, truth telling fashion variation. And that's what happened. So when you hear Deontay Wilder tell you EJ was not himself, EJ was dehydrated and Terrence Buck Crawford took advantage. Of course, all of the cockroaches, la cucaracha, la cucaracha, yo no puedo caminar. 
Lagu garaja, lagu garaja. Yo no puedo caminar, the scattering cockroaches of a Mike Tyson. Oh, he seems but hurt. Someone is but hurt is gonna come out. Of course, they're going to celebrate because they want to celebrate any kind of win. This is participation award era. This is not no fair fight. This was not no real fight. This was a fake fight. When someone has loaded and padded gloves, when someone is telling you more and more people are coming out and telling you this reeks of Cotto and Margarito. Go look at that fight and look at the similarities. When people are sitting here telling you something about this fight is not adding up, you have to tell yourself. It's a things that make you say, hmm. It's a things that make you say, hmm. But in its most visceral form of cold-hearted, in its most visceral form of unadulterated, and in its most visceral form of cutthroat to telefashion, what are you seeing that's telling you that this fight is not making sense? Your spirit is basically letting you know what I saw was not what I saw. Where was Earl de Smith's durability? Where was tactical aggression? Where was technical punching placement? Go ahead, Where was body go. snatching work? See, people would accept this fight if Earl Two Smith was punishing Terrence Crawford. If Earl Two Smith was beating the shit out of Terrence Crawford and Terrence Crawford hit him with a puncher's chance punch, then people would accept that. Terrence Bo Crawford was damn near battered. Terrence Bo Crawford was damn near bruised. Terrence Bo Crawford was damn near looking like he was on one leg. People would accept this, but he's the aggressor. When is Terrence Bo Crawford ever the aggressor when in every fight he starts slow? That is the sign of PEDs, performance enhancement drugs, giving your body a jolt that your bodily normally doesn't have. Let me say it again, because what I said was so deep and profound. So hear me and hear me motherfucking well. That was performance enhancement drugs, giving your body a jolt that your body normally doesn't have. People can't see this for what it is because they live in an illusion. They live in a matrix. They're sipping on blue beta cuck male blue pills but alpha males that are on the red pill the real g's the super real g's the ultimate real g's out, out here in these boxing streets you got females out here some of them i see them in the comment section that are actually seeing this shit for what it is and they're thinking reasonably they're thinking critically they're thinking effectively everyone knows something is wrong with this fight so when you got guys like Mike Tyson being propped up, this was to prop up these types of individuals that for the longest have been in their holes, crawling in their rabbit assholes. So they bring a lot of their holes. But after the rematch, guess what? They got to crawl right back into the hole that they came up out of. Let me say it again. After the rematch, they got to crawl right back into the hole that they came up out of. So yes, get your first laugh for this fake fight. For this illusion of a fight, for this matrix of a fight, when you say someone seems but hurt, but at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, greatness personification can only be hindered. The motherfucker can't be stopped. So I'll see what y'all looking like after the rematch on the second fight. Just remember he knows everything broke this information. Just remember he knows everything led the charge. Just remember that he knows everything told you how everything was going to go down. And y'all got to give props. To the fucking channel that's bringing you that what that heat and that fire and keeping the foot on the what on the knees and keeping the foot on the what on the knees so hit that subscribe button comment like share view and let motherfuckers know that this guy on youtube is telling you if your spirit is telling you something is not right then listen to your spirit because after all the spirit is indeed willing but the flesh is what it's weak that's the cool part of it that's the unadulterated. That's the cutthroat truth teller fashion. I keeps the foot on the what on the eggs. I keeps the foot on the what on the eggs. This is he knows everything. Checking out.